black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, this weird thing that I do on the internet. I'm your host, Black Hoodie. Now, that's my name because I used to wear a lot of black hoodies. I now wear yellow ones because if I wear a black one, I look like I'm a floating head due to my new setup and scenario. However, uh, that's, I mean, semi-relevant, but not as relevant as what's in front of me. And that is what we're eating today. Uh, it is a ribeye steak. Uh goat cheese crusted with some pecan nuts on top beautiful grilled asparagus that we're gonna sprinkle some lemon on and it's just got salt and pepper uh, as it is right now so before we do anything more we must pour now my sister the other day said that these ice cubes freak her out and i can't blame her they are weird like i said before they remind me of uncut calamari Having worked in a kitchen and having to prep calamari uh, into rings, which, by the way, is a terrible job, especially for someone who hates seafood. Also, why I've never done seafood mukbangs. If you needed to have that question answered, there's that answer for you. Uh, Seafood is quite literally disgusting to me. Um, I don't like the texture. I don't like the smell. And even the way they look. They look like aliens from the sea, and it's just not for me. Uh, when I'm at the grocery store, I try my best to literally, I walk away and around the seafood aisle. I can't even go buy it. <clears throat> and, uh, that's how, how deep my distaste for seafood runs. So sorry to disappoint you. If you're a seafood lover, power to you. That's what you like. I'm there for you, but I, I'm more of a, I'm a land guy, land, land animal. A couple in the sky are nice too. Okay. Very, very nice. I do like you, Mr. A&W. And your mascot is pretty dope too. I like that bear. Okay. This may seem a little bit strange to you. I'll explain why it's a thing. But uh, let's just cut into it. Let's go straight for the meat on this one. I tried to cook it about medium because that's actually my favorite. And I know there's all these people saying, oh, rares, that's the thing about steak. It's like everybody's like like a fucking, I don't know, pompous bitch about their their preference. But it's like everybody has a preference. Like, let's just let the world be. I think steak is the world in a microcosm food way. It's like people getting mad at each other over things that they like. It's like, it's got to be rare. And people, other people are like, well done. Otherwise, you're eating a live animal. I personally like medium. That to me is looking kind of rare there. It's more like a mid rare. Kind of quite rare in those areas. How rare are we here? I might have to go. Uh, it's pretty rare. I think I'm going to chuck it back on the grill for actually a little bit here. All right, so I fully just pulled the uh, dissatisfied steakhouse customer on myself. And in this case, I am both the customer, the server, and the cook. So I took it back, I put it on myself, and we'll see if we've got to a place where we can consume this happily. Now, I know what you're saying, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, dude, why do you got goat cheese and nuts on a steak? Well, light story behind that when I was first introduced to it I was freaked out as well I was just as much better I was just as skeptical as you I thought that doesn't belong that's weird but my sister worked at the keg for a bunch of years and uh, she got Awesome ass discounts there for friends and family. And I came in one night and she was like, We have this new steak topped with 
goat cheese and pecans or pecans or whatever you want to call them. However you pronounce your nuts. I say pecan because I just like the image of a can with pea in it. But uh, I was like, that sounds kind of strange, but let's try it. She brought it out. The rest was history. My life was forever changed. It is amazing. Mm. Mm. Highly encourage you to try it. It's that the steaks are umami as it is. Also, they go really well with horseradish, which I brought some of here. Let's try to get a little out that we can use. Steak by nature is quite umami. And the nuts, that richness of the nuts just accents that so well. And then the tang of the goat cheese. That creamy tang. Just cuts through all that fat and that earthy umami. Hmm. I mix for magic in your mouth. I love these bits on the steak. It's that like that outlier piece. There's like the center cut. And there's like a fat chunk and that's little last exterior tendril. That's kind of off to the side. These pieces are amazing. They like, they striate and they're so tender. Match that with a little horseradish. Hmm. You're just in a paradise dream world I understand horseradish is a very love it or hate it type food but that's amazing to me I love that semi spicy cut Okay, asparagus. What's up, boys? One of my favorite veggies. Just a little lemon drizz on them. You just suck them back. Yeah. Perfectly cooked. So good with a little char on the outside. And then still with a little crunch. Gotta maintain the little crunch. when it comes to asparagus. Only bad thing, of course, is asparagus pea. Very unique scent. Not desirable.
fast acting too. Always blows my mind. How quick it happens in the body. So yeah, I cooked this guy on the on a griddle, flat top griddle. And I do love a seared steak. But I think personally, there's nothing quite like a steak off the flame grill. After having experimented with both, there's just something about a flame kiss steak. Please leave down in the comments your favorite steak cooking method. It's actually a lot more methods than you would think to cooking a steak. watch a video with like I think it was like cooking a steak 30 different ways or something it's ridiculous <laughs> so when you like with an with an with a clothes iron with a blowtorch which is one I want to try And there's another one I want to try. It's like sous vide, just in a dishwasher, cooking steak in a dishwasher. But the idea is that you seal it off sous vide style in the in the sous vide bag. You know, airtight, waterproof. Set your dishwasher. You don't cook it throughout, and then you sear it. Sear it after in the pan. Thought it was interesting. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about ribeye. I know it's a good, like, fatty cut. And I know that people who really enjoy it enjoy it because they like eating the fat. I'm not really a fat guy like that. I mean, I might be a fat guy, but I'm not eating the fat. an undesirable texture to me. You know, there's all these people out there like looking at this little pile being, come on, man. Should be eating all that. Mm, no thanks. <laughs> I'll certainly get everything that I can, though. I personally love a New York strip. I think a New York strip is probably my favorite. Can usually consume the whole thing with not really any trimmings. 
and they're delicious. This is a whole bunch of asparagus. So. It's going to be an interesting night for me. You know what I mean? Very enjoyable. Very, very good meal. I highly encourage you to do the goat cheese and the nuts. You could switch up the nuts too. You could do pistachio or hazelnut or whatever. It doesn't have to be that. I just pecan is a good nut. So it could be any nut probably really. <clears throat> but the goat cheese is, is crucial for sure. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true.